All right, yeah. That's definitely one of those things uh, you want to lift with your legs and not your back. But with that being said, what's going on? Thanks for checking in. Blitz here with the Survival Outpost, and in today's video, I'm gonna be using this beast of a battery bank to basically power my entire life. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here we go again, it is that time of year. Generators and food supplies just magically start showing up on my doorstep ready and begging to be reviewed. And this makes sense. Putting food on the table and keeping the lights burning is of great importance considering the floods, hurricanes, and related disasters that come with the summer season. But this year, it's a little different. I've been blessed with an opportunity to review the most powerful portable power station I've ever seen. This is the P2001 by FF Power, and it's just basically a massive lithium ion phosphate battery. This unit arrived with nearly a full charge, but over the past few weeks of nonstop use, I've run it all the way down to that 10% mark. So, you know what? I guess we'll just start there. We'll test the actual charge time of the unit against the advertised spec. All right, charging is complete and that recharge time matches the advertised spec almost perfectly at about two hours. Now, of course, we can also recharge from the giant nuclear reactor in the sky, which that recharge time is claimed to be about five hours. And yes, you can even plug this into your car and recharge. But as you can imagine, the wattage is gonna be a little bit lower and it's gonna take you a long time, which is about eight hours. Sorry, I didn't have time to, you know, plug this thing in and let it charge my car for eight hours. I don't have any road trips, big road trips going on right now. But if I did, now that we're all juiced up, here is the plan. Instead of trying to simulate a grid down event or some big loss of power due to maybe orcs shelling the local grid, I wanna keep it practical. I want to get an idea of how this unit will support me later this year when I'm on a remote site for a period of time. And that means powering all of these devices. So let's move on and look at the specs. Real high level here, we have a 48 pound power station with a lithium ion phosphate battery core with a capacity of 2000 watt hours. It boasts the ability to power up to 16 devices simultaneously while providing a constant 2000 watt output with the capability to surge to 4000 watts. It's also cool to note that this unit is a UPS, uninterrupted power supply, meaning it can be trusted to power your sensitive devices when an outage could spell data loss or maybe medical issues. So, oh my goodness, yes, I almost forgot to point out the super helpful and detailed display where you can adjust the brightness. You can obviously see the current input, output, the power level, and how much time is remaining of use on this unit. Now let's examine the situations in which this unit could be best leveraged. Obviously, number one, keeping the power on when the grid goes down thanks to whatever, natural disaster, sabotage, poor maintenance, you name it, right? Number two, obviously you can add this to your vehicle evac kit to have that portable juice on the go. Number three, obviously, you know, you can power basically anything that your extension cord can't reach. This is a portable power station, so you can take this anywhere. So, you know, everything from blow up pools to electric drills, anything that needs power, this unit is gonna take care of that. And then of course, you know, maybe your job requires you to work on location and bring your own power. And that's definitely true for me as a YouTube creator. I like to have that power on site sometimes because I have so many things that I like to power from the drone to the camera to the GoPro and you know, a ton of other things that are required. So, you know, maybe that's your job. Maybe you have to have it for that. And then of course, you know, we also kind of touched on this real briefly. It can power vital medical devices that require that constant an uninterrupted power supply. Maybe an IV drip in a field hospital. I don't know, whatever. But leave a comment down below with your use case scenario. I'd love to hear it. 
So you know what's really cool guys is the fact that those tech specs we looked at and what was advertised for this unit actually matches up with how it works in real life. So overall, I think it's a great unit. Is it cheap? No, not really, but is any sort of gas power generator unit thing, battery bank, gonna be cheap? in order to give you the ability to do what you wanna do over a long period of time or more than just, you know, like 24 hours, you're gonna to have to pay a little bit of extra money. But, you know, make sure that you do that wisely. You know, don't just run out there and buy something, right? Just because somebody suggested or it works really good for somebody else, it may not find any use for you, right? So definitely these days with the inflation going up and that guy in office who we won't mention his name, whew, wow, um, yeah. Be wise with your money. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you like this content. And there's some videos popping up right here like we do to suggest for you guys to continue watching and check out some more content that we have out here on the Survival Outpost. Now, one thing to mention is you also wanna check out and get that bug out bag guide that's showing up right here next to the suggested video. Thanks a lot for the support, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Anything we talked about, including this unit, is all linked up down there in the pin post, and I'll see you guys next time.